buddies like to go hang we, out whatever well, they like, call a, their home phone. We had a telephone. Yeah, just called our home phone. We always had a telephone. I mean, I, my our house was very primitive. Uh -huh. we, we had a net, we got an indoor toilet when I was seven or eight for the first time. Huh. But we had a telephone. And our we had uh, three longs and two shorts. I think was our our number. So uh -huh. it, it would ring, ding, 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 ding. Yeah, that was that's... then we would go answer it. But it was a party line, and there were eight people on the party line. So, so anybody could pick up their phone and, and listen, listen to the to your conversation. conversation. Uh -huh. oh. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. And, and yeah. was that was that when you? To make call you call the operator and then they they dial you up. There was a little PBX station and they put they they put the they put hook the them together. Yeah, they yeah. Hook them in. And uh, they you know we would go to call somebody and and they didn't answer or something. And the operator would break in. She says, "Oh, they're having dinner at the Joneses." Because <laughs> <laughs> they because they the operator, the operator knew everything. <laughs> yeah, the operator knows all the gossip. You want to know? Right. Oh my gosh! Oh, anyway. wow! So that's. Uh, and see, that's like yeah, that's a cool personal one. telephones like you guys all have. It's, and like obviously, like like my like mom and dad always love to give me crap about how like we we aren't as like personal, like you know like we don't have as much like personal face to face right, conversations right. anymore. Like this, yeah. yeah, and they, it like uses loses the value of like just relationships with friends and yeah. and and whoever. Uh, yeah, yeah, so, you know we would get together. So yeah, exactly. Like we'd get together with cousins. Play hide and seek and yeah, all those kind all of that, things. Yeah. And, and my parents would play cards, and you know, there was a lot of conversation mm -hmm. going on with that. Mm -hmm. so, uh, I mean, that's until I was in high school. Did you was, did you ever get to go on like a far away trip when you were growing up, like the Hawaii or anything like that? Or is like my dad always just like the San Benito. I learned to uh, travel from my dad. I think he was. Uh, oops, oops. Let me bust it back. Uh, Peter Thomas Cini, you need to get that. Just leave it on. Just let it ring. Um, he's our contractor of a Tahoe. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, you learned to travel. We, I learned to travel because my dad used to go to different places, and, and so he so he did travel like a, a good amount. Like yeah. Uh, now you know I I went to Wyoming once with my. Uh, my mother's parents came from Iowa to Wyoming to here, so I had a lot of relatives in Wyoming. And after the war, we were able to get gas and tires and stuff, and so we made a trip back there to there was a family reunion or something. So I, you know, I went through a bunch oh, of the fun. states and, and that's, uh, so that was, yeah. that's nice. Um, and I just always enjoy traveling. My parents would take us to different places. Yeah, we did a lot of camping. That's nice. We, most of our vacations in the summertime were camping, and I used to go to, to Santa Cruz, and Dad, and the, you know, it's so hot in Fresno in the summertime, and so he would take yeah, the family over there, rent a motel, and we'd stay in a motel in the, in the nice. a block or two from the boardwalk, yeah. and then every day we would go down to the beach and in the sand or whatever, and then we had our, we'd take our air mattresses from because we were sleeping on the floor in air mattresses. The kids were. We go down, take him out and lie out in the ocean. ocean. And oh, so, you know we never had surfboards in those days. Surfboards uh -huh. came in natural hat. So and uh, then we uh, then we go to the boardwalk too. So <laughs> oh, that's neat. Yeah, that's good. Good. So, so I used to do a lot of a lot of that. Really, you said that you were traveling with your grandparents. Like, what is what like? What's your memory of your grandparents when you like look back on? See, I I didn't parents. really know my grandparents. You didn't know them all uh, that well. My on the, my father's side, uh, my grandfather, Kaler, died about the time I was born, I think, and, and so I never knew him. I knew my grandmother, she was a little short lady. Really? And a, a pistol. She was a ball of fire. Really? Uh, and she, oh, she, she, she had eight sons scattered, huh? scattered around California, and uh, she would so go she from one to the other, you know, and stay with us and visit. So it was a big deal when she came to visit. She would come uh, I think my mother was like, oh. How, how, how long uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, well, but fun. she had a little Willie's Jeep, and I mean, she was probably in her seventies, and she was this little old lady, and, mm -hmm. and uh, this Willie's Jeep was a little tiny car, like a Volkswagen Beetle, uh -huh. and she would go. She liked to go to um, uh, hot springs, and so 
There was one way up above where McKinley's or Campo Jado is, where the scouts go. Oh yeah. It's up above there, and it was an old, little old road through the, through the uh, granite. You know, it was. Dude, that was old. It wasn't even paved. I think she used to bounce this little car. <laughs> that was old. And, and, you can go to yeah. the hot springs. But she'd go from one hot spring to a kid to another hot spring. Oh, that's what, that's what I remember about her. her. On my mother's side, uh, my uh, my grandmother Sheldon uh, died about when I was born too, or when I was really young. I don't remember her at all. And uh, uh, the uh, my grandfather, I don't remember him a lot, but. He died during the Second World War, so that would have been, I'd have been five, maybe. Was he in the service? No, no, he was, uh, he was old by yes. then, see. He was, my mother was the youngest of, of uh, five children, so, uh, okay. and my father was the second of the youngest. So, uh, so you know, thirteen the children. Old grandparents there. Yeah, so um, the grandparents were pretty old. Well, so what was it like with all your cousins then? You had a Oh, ton I had of a cousins, ton, of, huh? ton of cousins, yeah. So you had a lot of fun with them. Anyway, any anyway my grandfather Sheldon uh, came to our, he was, he had cancer, I think it was, and, oh, no. and he died in our, at our place because my mother was his youngest child. And, oh, no. And, uh, anyway, so we kept him, but I remember him dying. That's, right, that's unfortunately, that's what I remember was when he died. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, do you have a lot of memories with your cousins, though? Like from oh yeah, yeah. And I had a did, you have, did you have a bunch around your age? Yeah, and, and the the Sheldons were the my mother's side of the family, yeah. and she was the youngest of five. Yeah. Um, and they all had two or three or four kids, and, so. and they all lived in San Joaquin Valley. And anyway, they they used to have their family for Christmas, you know, in the early thirties. In the late thirties, these kids were getting married and having kids, and there was their house wasn't big enough for all the for all, all the people. So they decided to get together the Sunday before Christmas, and so they started that in Layton, which is a town near Riverdale, where I went to the next town, mm -hmm. and um, in the in the Layton, say community hall, whatever it is. Yeah. And so they started that in 1937, and they still do that to this day. Now it's the second and but, third cousins. But like yeah. anniversaries, yeah, like the 70th anniversary or something? Of, of the Sheldon reunion, yeah. Wow. They have not missed it. Uh, uh, to this day? The Saturday before Christmas, or the Sunday before Christmas, I think it is, or whatever it is. Wow. It's the week before Christmas. And uh, then, then, then there were so many cousins, they eventually started having a summer one. And they, so they so would they, have that by the river, and that was more of a picnic. Mm -hmm. I think we go water skiing on the river. That's so cool. And anyway, so I have a lot of cousins now. Oh. I'm, I'm my, since my mother was the youngest, my brother and I are the younger the of all of these cousins. Them. So all my cousins are dying now, and that's, uh, you know, we, every year or so we have to go to another funeral oh, with my cousins. Yeah, but they're, because um, they're older than I am. Because they're the youngest of them. So yeah, they were. We had great times together. I know. You know, I go camping with my cousins. I'd go on uh, trips and so on. And then the Kalers, Kalers weren't as close a group because they were they they scattered all over the state. Uh, uh, okay. And uh, so they're all thirteen of them. All yeah. Well, there were only eight of them. Eight of the boys lived to be adults, mm. and one girl. The thirteenth child was a girl. <laughs> anyway, they. Uh, but they did have. Reunions and, mm -hmm. and we would have them at our ranch up in San Benito County. Oh yeah. And so there's pictures of them. Uh, oh, all the all the reunions. Cousins. Uh, well, so was it neat to have like older like older figures with the cousins and stuff? It's just yeah. It's just funny because like from my like what's up being like the oldest. You're the oldest. Yeah, being the oldest of like all of all the, your cousins. All the cousins. Yeah, it's like it's just a, it's a it's yeah. a different. Like, we we're on we we're on a different side of this like, right. the spectrum. Like right. you like look exactly. up to them and like kind of learn from. <laughs> Yeah, it was. Like it was, you know, I'm sure I learned, you know, and, like right. and, you know, and I, um, and a lot of them were closer to my sister's age, you know, and so they were closer to her. Yeah. And I remember going to football games where they were. Where they were. I had a cousin that was playing. He went to Layton High School, and then they were playing Riverdale. And I remember his leg. He broke a leg. And, he did. Yeah. Oh man! And, and, in the in the, the football game. Huh. And uh, I'll never forget that. Oh jeez.
Jeez, I thought that was pretty gruesome. But, Those are always no fun. But yeah, but I mean, I, yeah, don't, I didn't see them. Mm -hmm. But I remember him hobbling around yeah, in a cast and so on. Huh. Yeah, and uh, so there were, yeah, we did a lot of things because we'd go. My aunt Dorothy um, would have, and, and they had a son the same age as I was, Donnell. And we um, we were really pretty close because we would always close, yeah. close so in age. I I grew up with cousins more than I did close friends, you know, like you do. Uh, but uh, because they were my age, oh, so yeah, we, we're and, all and close was, your age. You know, on Saturday so nights we had no money, and we just we just go get yeah, together with our aunts and uncles and the cousins and go, you know, yeah, we'd, go we'd play go cards or play yeah, games yeah. or whatever. Uh -huh. And um, you know the the. Uh, Oh, there we did a lot of things with him, you know, travel with him sometimes. And, That's and fun. So, yeah. But it, you know, it, and there were older ones, you know, that you always <laughs> yeah. looked up to. Mm -hmm. There are not very many younger ones. I was, like you said, the opposite end of the yeah. spectrum uh -huh. for you. But, uh, see what else we got on here. Mm. What's the last one on there? Your first car. My first car. Uh, when did you get your first car? I I went to I went to Stanford. I didn't have a car. Just didn't get it till. You didn't really need one at Stanford. Well, yeah. Did you just chance. bike around all? The, you just bike. Right. Yeah. I biked around. Or, 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 bikes can, weren't as popular as they are yeah, now, you but you could walk, walk yeah, yeah. In, the, in the campus. Yeah. And, I don't know. Some some of the older people always had cars, mm -hmm. or some people had cars. Yeah, and get around if you needed to and everything. And. Uh, then my sophomore year, I think it was around Christmas time of my sophomore year, my dad uh, gave me this. It was a new car, actually. Wow. Did, what did What did you get? What did you well, it was it was a Ford was? Ford Coupe, baby blue color. Wow! And so then, I, so I had that. Totally cool. So I had that, that here my sophomore year, and then I, I went to USC. Did you drive it? Did you drive it down to USC? Take it down. Had it for four years there. Awesome. And then Pick uh, me up in that. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. that's what I had. Huh. Um, and then we went to, uh, it was shipped to Alaska, and so I had that there. Bring us up to Alaska, uh -huh. yeah. And then we, we left there, and, and uh, before we came to Palo Alto, we, we had uh, three months that we traveled in Europe, and only had worked all the time that uh, we were in Alaska, as so the dental hygienist. was. So we'd saved, I don't know, four or five thousand dollars, I can't remember. Anyway, we bought, maybe it was three thousand dollars, we bought a Volkswagen Beetle at the factory in Wolfsburg, Germany. From the factory? For twelve hundred dollars. Huh. And so we flew to, we flew on the cheapest airline you could get was Air Iceland at the time. Huh. I can't remember what the flight cost yeah, was, yeah. about what it costs nowadays. So not, there's not a lot of difference. Really? Air, Airfare has gone way down, and I mean because of inflation. Yeah, it, it it's relatively. It's, it's, yeah. yeah, and uh, we stopped in Newfoundland and Labrador, and, uh, huh. and Iceland and Glasgow, Scotland, and then finally made it to Europe. Mm -hmm. And then we anyway we so we so traveled you, around so Europe for three months. And then how did you get the car back? To we shipped it from, uh, from Belgium to Holland. I mean, Belgium to New York. All the way back. Wow. And then we waited for it there, and by this time your mother was pregnant, and about five or six months along with your sister, or with your mother. Mm -hmm. And um, so we drove across the country. With with mom and yeah, with mom and tummy. Really? Oh my gosh. And uh, that must have been a fun trip. And, and the Volkswagen Beetle. So yeah, we take it, when take we got back home country. here, we had six thousand miles on. So we put just six, from, yeah, just from going six thousand miles in, in Europe and then going across the country. Yeah. Wow. How long did you so, have that car for? Did you have that for like when mom was growing up, kind of? Yeah, we had it for quite a few. Yeah, in fact, a couple of years. When it finally the engine gave out, was Christian and I were on a fishing trip in Nevada, and, and coming home it wouldn't go up over an overpass. So. <laughs> We got stuck in Sacramento. <laughs> oh no! And so and that was the part somebody of the, came and picked us up. Kick the bike and you're like, get the heck out of there. And I said, you know, just take it. Yeah. It just, it's finally. Anyway, they're, they're worth a lot of money nowadays, but mm -hmm. this was just before the dollar uh, mark, which was like German currency, got readjusted right after that. So mm -hmm. 
I, I gave the thing away, I think, for five hundred dollars, and, <laughs> and, and about two months later, it was worth yeah, two thousand. Yeah, it's worth it all, man. <laughs> but anyway, um, we we had a lot of miles. We had a, I think a hundred thousand miles or so. We used to drive to L.A. with with, with your so mother and, and, and your car. uncle Christian, in the back of this thing. No seat belts, you know. We'd, Pack the whole family in there. You know, we put the seat down, and they would lay down just there. Just lay down the back with covers over them. <laughs> They seem to live through a little road trip, yeah. <laughs> we made a lot of trips to LA that way. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, right, so, so that was our that was the second car that that blew Ford. I, we still had it when we bought our first house here. See, so did, Palo yeah. Alto. And um, I I finally decided to sell it. Um, and so I put an ad in the paper, and I, it wasn't very much, a hundred dollars or something. Yeah, two hundred dollars. Yeah, I sold it for. And some high school kid, an old to high school kid, came oh. in. And, um, and he, so he looks at it. I mean, it was a, it was a neat looking yeah, car. Yeah, you know, I mean, it wasn't, yeah. a, it wasn't a sports car, but it was I mean, it's a, still it's a coupe, you yeah, know, so it yeah, wasn't, a, cool. wasn't a station wagon mm -hmm. or anything. Anyway, this kid's looking at this thing and he's, he goes around and he looks at all the tires and he kicks the tires. <laughs> <laughs> and I, there's an old expression. I don't know. I don't know if I've heard it. Well, the expression was, uh, you have to kick the tires before you buy it, you know. Just the, and I, I don't know if it, where that came from, but it, it just like make sure in the early good. days, the tires weren't very good, you know, so, like, so you I kick them, kick them to, see, to make sure they, they didn't go down right away, <laughs> the air all go out. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so this kid kicked the tires and looked at the spare, and in Alaska we had uh, snow tires, and... Uh, which are really nubby. So yeah, like, so, yeah. Well, anyway, track. I still had the snow tires on there, Ooh. and um, and the spare was a spare tire. And he looks at this, and that was a snow tire I had taken off. And he looks at it and says, "Wow, it's still got a lot of rubber." I said, "Yeah." He's going to make yeah, make it. Tell him it was a snow tire. And he never, <laughs> Did he buy it? <laughs> he bought it. Oh my gosh! I never, <laughs> <laughs> I never questioned you after yeah. that. Oh, that's funny. Well, it was worth the price yeah, that he paid. Yeah, exactly. anyway, it was funny how yeah, he little jip out kicked, of kicked the yeah, tires and, and it. said, oh, there's a lot. Because I'm sure his dad said, you know, be sure yeah, there's a lot of check this rubber, rubber you know, uh, on those tires. Be sure he kicked the tires. He saw it. Well, there you go. That's funny. So, what were, we talked about Uncle Christian. What was mom like oh. growing up my age? Yeah. 17, <laughs> high school. Woo! Castellana. Uh, well, she was, you know, she was always a pretty good student, as opposed to Uncle Christian. <laughs> um, and he was smart, but he, he's one of those guys that's smart, but doesn't bust his butt to get an A, you know, he'd rather have a B, because your mom always got A's, and, and he didn't want to follow in her footsteps, mm -hmm. and so he would do anything not to get A's. <laughs> so he, I mean, that was kind of it. And he was very quiet, because your mother was very dominant. Really? And when she went away to school... Was mom kind of like homie? Yeah. You think you're like just very... Well, they are, they are kind of like each other. Yeah, still now. right. Very right. Talkative. But she was, as, as a child, she was outspoken and mm -hmm. talked a lot. Mm -hmm. and, um, uh, she wasn't bashful or anything. Mm -hmm. And so poor Christian never got a chance to talk for yeah. that. <laughs> sure, sure. Dinner tables. One mm -hmm. one sibling yeah. talks more than yeah. the others. But uh, so then, uh, Joy went away to, to she went to Stanford, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden Christian became because all yeah the, he was very talkative. Like he leaves yeah. the house. Huh? Yeah. So uh, it's interesting how the dynamics of the family changes when one so, of the yeah, first one. Yeah, I wonder. One, I wonder how it's going to change when I leave. Yeah. <laughs> once they get rid of me. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Your sister's gonna have to yeah, take, so they... take over the take over the crib. <laughs> that's funny. Anyway, that's uh, she always had girlfriends. I mean, they were the same friends yeah. she had when she was in high school. Yeah. Abby and uh, uh, all, all of those friends that she had. Mm -hmm. so Peggy and Abby and. Um, do you do you remember being friends with any of like the parents of her friends like? It seems well, like mom and dad have become like really good friends with like a bunch of the, the parents of my friends and yeah we didn't uh, 
Like they remember it all we, or not? Well, no, oh, we didn't become really close friends with, with any of the, with, with, any of the any of friends. friends. I mean, we know them and we know the Torme is, uh, and, uh, and we knew all of them, you know, but we were never close friends with them. Mm -hmm. um, we had, most of our friends came from, only joined the Junior League when we came to Palo Alto. Which was a woman's organization, and mm -hmm. uh, and there were like the Goides, Mimi Goide, and it was in that Suzanne Shepherd, and mm -hmm. all that. Ronnie Rudolph, all, all, oh, all of those. a so lot of our friends that, were all in, in this, that this organization. And, yeah. yeah, and so they they would all try to get they you know throw a party and then get uh, oh god we gotta go this party. <laughs> Because oh, we had nothing, you know, the guys all, oh, some were cool. working, half of them were working in San Francisco, so we never saw them, and, mm -hmm. and we all were in different companies and so on, and mm -hmm. um, we'd have our own professional, if you're a banker, you know, a bunch of bankers, and like I was uh, a dentist, you know, a bunch of dentists, but, yeah, so it's kind of but uh, this was, segregated this were all, uh, so the, it was our wives that got us together, <laughs> we, <laughs> you know, and, and, I, and I was very reluctant to, to go, so and, it didn't, and Omi was always very social. And mm -hmm. so we started going to these, and then we went to one party where uh, it, they were pretty wild parties, so we, we drank quite a bit those mm -hmm. days. And uh, they, well, this one party, they uh, swallowing a goldfish. Have you ever heard of doing that? Yeah. Anyway, so, so somebody bet this other. This other gal, she would, couldn't swallow it. Oh my gosh. For fifty dollars. Did she so get it? All and she go. <laughs> she did it. She got her fifty dollars. Oh anyway. my gosh. <laughs> anyway, oh, I thought geez. you know this is this, yeah, this these these people are, kind of, are pretty yeah. crazy. <laughs> oh, that's fun. <laughs> and uh, that's Linda Hedge or Linda Kaiser is her name now. Was 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 Pally like it is now? Like was it was it? Because I mean, it seems like a lot of the buildings there. Now we're still like pretty old and yeah. And I think like they've been there for a while. I mean, I you know, that we you were, yeah, like weren't there all that much or anything. But there, I think so. You have to ask your mom. I don't, yeah. I don't remember. Yeah. yeah. And she wasn't. I mean, she, she played soccer. She played on soccer. You remember like watching?